Day 27 of March Madness is flying in hot. We've had two guest hosts this month already, and we're having a third today. And what can I say? Guest host today is definitely one of the RuneScape YouTubers of all time. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life for squinting, can't just stare. We bay through thick and thin. She already fixed so I'm halfway there. Next up we have a challenge from Ruby, and he says, fill inventory with 28 unique items of begging at the Grand Exchange. That sounds very doable, and I actually have a strategy for this. Okay, I'm gonna sit at the Grand Exchange on this account, not my main flump it. Uh, female character, obviously better chance of getting items, we all know that. And we're gonna see how long it takes to fill our inventory with 28 random items that other players here are going to trade us. I have a strategy for this. I'm gonna go ahead and type, accepting all random items, please. Heart, smiley face. That's the key, that's the message. Looks like a really nice world so far, STFU. Let's see if we can get anything. We're right next to a gambling bot, so that's actually not that good. But I have a feeling we're not going to get lucky every world, so what we're going to do is just hop once, and then we're going to say the message, hop again, say the message, until hopefully we can find somebody willing to give us lots of stuff. I'm going to try a couple of different messages, like trying to fill my inventory. Yes, the first trade. Gatorian176. We have a pure essence. Thank you. Okay, I'm happy it wasn't just all one trade at once because that would have kind of been boring, but now we have one out of 28. We can move up our message from zero to one now. Thank you, sir. Another trade coming in from Cummins. We have monkey nuts, snakeskin, and coconuts. Thank you so much. Okay, pure essence, monkey nuts, snakeskin, coconut, and some trout. We are at five out of 28. Oh, one more. He wants more. And caviar beast i love you <laughs> one thing i've noticed is that i can't hop right away because some people will see my message run to their bank get stuff look at this guy this rune guy just did it guarantee you he trains me something there it is smelly velma all we have to do is wait a little bit currently has six items i'm going to show them what i have and we'll see if they uh, add to it decline trade okay this guy's trading me now a pot an emerald four five Five, six. Let's see if he accepts. Thank you. It was the rune guy. He said good luck. What a humble challenge. Good luck, beast. Wait, no. Good luck, baby. <laughs> Velma has returned. Oyster Pearl. Wait. Are you proposing? What a nice little addition to the collection. On to nine items. Good luck. To the next world. This is pretty fun, man. Trade from Kanjo. Can show him all the stuff I have. He's going to give me a magic log. Thank you, sir. Very humble. Little Paisa. We got some more monkey nuts. Thank you. 11 out of 28. Dan's coming in with a white cavalier. We're going to show him what we have so we can, you know, we're legit. We're not just an account. That's what we have. Please, the white cavalier would be mo the most expensive thing. Let's see if he accepts. Oh, he looks like he will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That was a very unique donation. A white cavalier. I like it. Just in time. What do you got for me? Ooh. That's a big one. Soft clay. Is that going to fill us up? Is he going to accept this much soft clay? It looks like he is. Rest of the inventory almost filled with soft clay now. Thank you. Only six items to go. The heart has made a big difference. I used to do a smiley face. Now I'm doing a heart. Seems to be making a difference. Could this be the final trade? St oh my gosh. Thank you. Did he accept? He did. We have one to go. One spot left. Easy. Boots of stone. Thank you. Shout out to Vonky Camel and Jacob. I'm done. Thank you, guys. We have a staff of the Bobcat. Ook Tanky Dung. We can show him everything we got. Can see how exactly how much it was. Look at that. 228k just from accepting... All these random items. That's really funny. Hell yeah. We did it. Wait, this guy's trading me again and giving me just six more random items. Vonky Camel, legend. Hell yeah. Now we actually have a more diverse inventory of random stuff. Let's go. Got an anti venom, a peaceful blessing, the hats. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Hunter Sunlight Crossbow Slayer Enchantment. Now, now this is looking way more random. 
And that bumps up the price to... He's trading me again! Vonky Camel! What's he doing this time? We found the perfect person and the perfect world for this. Is he gonna give us... He is, wait. No way. He actually did! Wow. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell? I just found the perfect guy. 366k, he's just giving me random stuff. This is awesome. I may have just found a RuneScape boyfriend in Vonky Camel. Shout out Vonky Camel. This is a very unique 28 items. I think I got kind of lucky with this guy uh, showing up in the last world. But challenge completed again with all these items. That's really cool. Next up, we have Lord Dorney coming in with a challenge to kill 1,000 goblins. Pretty easy. However, I'm kind of excited for this one because I don't have the goblin champion scroll yet on this account. If I get the goblin champion scroll... I will do something absolutely insane. I don't know what that's going to be yet, but it will be insane. Only one place you should be killing goblins, and that's in the area that everybody knows where they are, Lumbridge. Let's do 1,000 kills and see what we get. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just come to my attention that I apparently have already gotten a champion scroll. <laughs> uh, I don't ever remember doing the goblin champion scroll challenge whatsoever, so that's not good. But technically, we got a champion scroll, and the crazy thing I'm going to do is, well, I, n nothing, because I technically didn't get it. But I got it. So, yeah, this is a little bit awkward. Shout out to Toy Shank, just said I'm the man. Thank you. And look at all these clue scrolls we would have gotten on this. Beginner. Easy. Beginner. Beginner. Just so many clue scrolls. That is officially the challenge done, though, as you can see in our loot thing. We have a thousand kills. Let's pull it up a little bit closer to see what we get. Most expensive thing we got were 34 in sold goblin heads. We got some goblin mail in there as well. 161,000 GP from 1,000 goblins. We definitely, I think we spent, how, how many cannonballs did we use? I think we used about 1,300 cannonballs, some divine super combat potions. But if you're curious about what your loot would look like from 1,000 goblin kills... I think this is pretty accurate. That is the challenge complete on my end. Lifeliners wants me to kill Jad with bronze arrows, a regular short bow, and leather chaps. That seems very doable. That being said, I've never killed Jad with anything worse than, I think, like a Carol's crossbow. So this could be very interesting. I have a short bow, I have the leather chaps, and some bronze arrows that I found in my bank. We have prayer potions. I'm not going to flick the entire time, I'll be honest. I'm too lazy to do that, sorry. But I will try not to eat any food. We're going to Divine Bastion Potion. We're going to Angler Fish. But I'm going to try not to touch these Angler Fish for the rest of the challenge. We're going to use Sarket Rex Jad Challenge simply because it gets us to Jad right away. And fun fact for you guys who didn't know, EV viewers are very smart though, so you guys probably do know, the Jad in the first challenge here is actually harder than the Jad you go against in the fight caves. This guy's level 900. He spawns six healers. So yeah, a little bit stronger and probably will be a little bit harder. What I'm most curious about for this is what is our max hit going to be with this setup? I have no idea, but I'm excited. So let's do this. We have the Inferno, very cute little Inferno tile markers for when I got my Inferno cape. They're still in here. That's kind of funny. Uh, let's see how this goes. I think the hardest part of this challenge, there's a 12 right there, by the way. That was a 12. Okay, an 11. Not too bad. Wait a second. 12? Somebody tell the OSR's gear Discord. This might be the new meta. What I think the hardest thing about this challenge is going to be isn't necessarily switching the prayers. You know, everybody knows how to do that, right? But rather, it's going to be trying not to fall asleep doing this. I don't think I've ever spent longer than four minutes on a Jad before. This will probably take closer to 10. So in terms of not wanting to fall asleep, yeah, this is actually going to be hard. Already down to 80%. This is going a little bit faster than I thought. I don't want to jinx it. I'm going to knock on wood really quickly. But that there's a 70 a 13! That's not even our max hit. I guess obviously the, the Divine Bastion Potion is really helpful with the max hit here, but still, I didn't expect it to be higher than a 15, or higher than a 13. I wonder what it's going to be. Maybe 15, 16. A 14? 
It's just going up one every single time. It's teasing us. It's not showing us the max hit. What a great change, by the way. That little hit splat when it shows you your max hit. I love that they did that. That's so cool. Question for Eevee viewers. Are you guys people who just drink from different potions in your inventory? Like, you'll drink a per potion that has, you know, three doses. One has four. One has, like, I'll just drink a four dose right here. Like, I don't care, right? Even though I haven't finished these two. I don't know. I've just always done that. I feel like... Oh, 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 oh. I should stop asking questions to the chat. Yeah, I'm 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 actually okay, I'm gonna sit up in my chair really quickly. Let's just not do that again. That was kinda awkward. I got too cozy. I got way too cozy. I got way too cocky too. And you can't get cocky at Jad. Healer's coming and he Oh there it is, the 16! We saw the max hits. We saw the max hits. It's a 16. Okay, healers are here. We can't get cocky here. We have to pay attention. What I'm scared of is the healers hitting me down to zero. But we should be okay. We just need to line them up. And then run through Jad. And we should be able to trap all of them. And we should be good. Perfect. Okay, 24 HP. I, they didn't heal him all the way back to full, but they got him back to 90%. So from now on, it's just a waiting game of getting him down to zero and making sure we don't mess up switching our prayers. I think we can do this. We do have to Divine Bastion, though, again. That's going to bring us down to 15 HP. I mean, we're going to die if we take a jadded either way, so let's hope that doesn't, that doesn't happen. We have him back down to 50%, halfway there. Cannot let up focus. One third of the way left to go. A little bit less now. No food used yet. Obviously a lot of prayer potions, but who cares about that? I think it's time to divine again. Okay, I thought I got hit right there. <laughs> that was just my divine. I panicked. I thought I just took it, took a jab at there. Come on, baby. Sure, you got this. I have been stuck at this 33% mark for so long. Please. I feel like every time I talk, I hit. So maybe I should just keep talking. But then if I talk, I'm going to distract myself. It's a very tough situation I'm in. I haven't looked at the time yet, but it feels like it's been 20 minutes. I'm not even kidding. Under 25%. There's another big one. A 16 max hit. That's what we like to see. Yes, another a 69. A 32. Keep it up. 13% to go. Let's go. Almost there. If I choke now, I'm not doing it again, I swear. I have to win this banning to stay in the game. 86. That's a big one. Another max hit. Take it home. Come on. 10% to go. Big 14. Huge. There's a five. We can KO him here. Come on. I beg. Let me finish him off. That should be it. It is it. We have done the challenge on low HP, honestly, for most of the challenge. I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. I'm really happy. What was the final time? 13 minutes, 44 seconds. Just off my personal best. I did it, though. 160 tackle. Jad killed just with these items in 13 and a half minutes. Uh, did use per potions, but no food and um, some divine bastion potions. So let's go, boys. We did it. Thank you for the challenge lifeliners. Secondhand tampon wants me to get a PK with a seer call as the KO. Sounds like a plan, and I know exactly what I'm going to do. I've got myself my seer call with some really budget gear. I'm talking budget of the budget, but we're going to a place or the, honestly, it shouldn't matter what I'm wearing because I should be able to get a kill. And that's to the rogue's chest at the rogue's castle in level 50 wilderness. Everybody up here never fights back. They're pretty much risking nothing. But that also means that they don't have a lot of stuff on them. And they're going to be defenseless, which should make this seer call KO fairly easy. But honestly, I could regret saying that. Now, he never said I had to go against another PK, or so you know exactly I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to kill this... Oh, it's a level eight. Thought I was about to smurf on somebody right away. All right, let's find somebody. So many bots up here. It's actually crazy. I can already hear the Sir Pugger video now. Da -na 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 -na. Hey guys, it's Sir Pugger. Ba -na 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 -na. There's bots up here. Can I just find one normal player? And by that I mean just an okay high level player who's willing to die like a little old PKer like me. I fully expected to have found somebody by now. I'm not even going to lie to you. We are seven minutes into hopping. I'm not going to give up on this just yet, but we may have to go somewhere else just in case. So we can actually find somebody. Level 41. We do have a Chaos Elemental inside of the Rose Den. That's always fun. 116. Oh my god. This is it. Wait, did he not get frozen? Wait, what? There we go. 
So you're called KO, baby. Come on. Fun fact, this thing has a special attack. Let's use it. Did nothing. Oh, they have- Wait, I have to get the KO. I just realized I have to get the KO. Please. Freeze. He's frozen. Get the KO. It's perfect. This thing's actually hitting not too badly. I'm gonna get him lower with the barrage. Switch back. He's eating. No. Please. Okay. We have, to, we have to play the stair game here. He's already outplayed me. He's already outplayed me. Didn't get him. So sad. 103. Back to back worlds of finding people. Alright. 2N8. Good luck, my friend. Rip. Oh, he's out of food as well. RKO? Yes! The 27 max hit Circle KO. Okay, that was nice. I was so sad that I didn't get the previous guy. And then this guy immediately shows up in the next world. And we get a max hit Circle KO. Now, he said Rip. The question is, does that mean Rip because he's dying or Rip because he had bank on him? Let's find out. Going to use the north loot chest at the Grand Exchange for good luck. Let's see 100k at least. At least 100k. 82. 82k. White boots. Interesting fashion scape. White gloves. 82k. At least it was something higher than zero. Next up, we have a challenge from Seed Dibla, and he says, Sub six minute tutorial island. Now, what I think he means by this is speedrun tutorial island on a new account and finish it in under six minutes. Now, I think I'm the perfect person to do this because back in the day, four or five years ago, I actually made a video on tutorial island speedrunning and tried it out myself. And to this day, check this out, I am still the rank nine tutorial island speedrunner in the entire game on speedrun.com. Ninth place, three minutes and 26 seconds, four years ago. That's actually crazy. So yeah, I think I'm the perfect person to test this challenge. So let's see how we do. Obviously, this isn't going to be the perfect speed run. I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm probably not going to do it that quickly. But I think it's pretty easy to get under six minutes. You probably don't even have to do anything speed run strat related to get under six minutes. You can just click really fast at where the arrows tell you to click, and you should be fine. But let's see how we can do it and how fast I can do it in 2024. So we're just going to call ourselves sub six minutes easy. If that name isn't available, I don't even know anymore. Awesome. Okay, so let's set our name. And as soon as that is set, we will confirm. And as soon as we click on the Gilinar guy, we are good to go. So three, two, one, time has started. Let's go. Okay, so we are going to look for the experienced option. I already messed up. We're gonna look for the experienced option. Oh, actually, yes, that kind of worked. Click on him again, move on. Now, usually what you do with the survival expert is actually you have somebody make a fire for you, uh, which usually, will speed up the time because you want to chop a log and that saves a lot of time. But for this, I don't have an alt account, so I'm just going to do it myself. All right, let's talk to the survival experts, chop a tree. The one thing though I know is that you will never burn your shrimp if you cook them on your own log. However, if you cook your shrimp on somebody else's log, there is a chance you fail. Little uh, fun fact for you. As soon as the shrimp is done cooking, we can just run to the gate. No need to talk to the expert anymore. A little tip for this part, take the little path this way. Don't go down south. That's the slower way. This is about, I think, two, three ticks faster. Time to talk to the cook. As soon as he gives us the flour and the water, you can instantly use it on this. And then you are done. And one other thing we're going to do is drop items because we will run out of run energy faster. Now, I'm doing this really poorly. If you want, you can turn on shift drop click as you're running to save you a little bit of time next up we are talking to the guide i should turn roofs off that's kind of annoying actually uh for this guy you just honestly hold space for so long okay actually that wasn't that long now we're while we're running over to this part i'm going to see if i can turn on escape really quickly escape closed interface it's already on i guess okay talk to the mining instructor 
Gonna remind ourselves one of these, and then one of these. We can instantly go to the furnace. And as soon as, as soon as that is done, we go talk to the instructor again. He gives us a hammer. We're gonna use the hammer to make a dagger. Once that dagger is made, we are done with this area. I'm also going to switch over to fixed mode since that's what I'm most comfortable with. And just like that, we are on to the combats. How are we doing, Mr. Combat Instructor? This part's interesting because you have to click through all this stuff, equip it, click on him again. He gives us the wooden sword. Click on the combat tab. We now can go in and attack the rat. The rats are where runs are made or broken on Tutorial Island because the zeros are brutal. We already have two ones, though, and there he is. He's dead. That was pretty good. Honestly, we'd be on world record pace right now, I think. So now we attack these and see how we do with the rats. You can switch to rapid to speed up your attack speed a little bit. One, two. Honestly, the rat RNG, not too bad. And there we go. He's dead. Pretty good rat RNG. I think I only hit three or four zeros. And just like that, we are finished with combat. We are up to the banking and polling tutorial. Hello, Rilajaro. Welcome to the game. So this part's easy, you just exit out of the bank, hold space on the poles. As soon as that is done, you click on this door, click on the account guide, and you'll have to click on one thing right here, click back on him. I have made a lot of new accounts on this game. One, because I like the speedrunning section for a tutorial island, and two, because I make a lot of accounts for B-roll. And a lot of those accounts are just now gone and never will be logged into again. Kind of sad. Okay, Brother Brace, we are on to the prayer section. Hello, Brother Brace. Click on prayer, talk to him. We have to click on the smiley too right here. Open the door. And that should be a perfect, tick perfect exit of the chapel. This is why the run energy is so important. Because if we didn't drop our stuff, we'd have to walk all the way up here. But uh, since we are dropping stuff, we don't have to do that anymore. Oh, they changed this actually. It now only shows the wind strike. I can't even click on a chicken. It used to show your entire um, spell book. Now it just shows the wind strike. And just like that, send me to the mainland, get me out of here. Three, two, one, time is up. Okay, boom. We are on the mainland off Tutorial Island. Now, I believe I started my run at 125, and we ended at, what did we end at, 520 or so? That was about a four-minute run, I think. Honestly, that was pretty good. Four, four and a half minutes or so, that was kind of a fast run. That would put me in the top, about 40th place or so, maybe a little bit lower, maybe 40th to 50th place or so. If you guys ever want to try speedrunning Tutorial Island, it's very fun, and you can get your name on the leaderboards here, would highly recommend. But there you go, Tutorial Island is officially speedran in under six minutes. And unfortunately for this account, it will never be logged into again. Midside wants me to beat my Zolra PB, which I think should be very doable since I haven't killed Zolra in years on this account. We have to check to see what the PB is first though. Looks like the PB is 106, which I'm not going to lie to you, is actually a lot lower than I thought. But we now have max gear, which I have never used at Zolra before, and I've done quite a few Zolra in my day, so I think we should be able to do this, hopefully first try. Let's go. Saturated heart. Let's get our divine out. Instantly start attacking. Already starting with a zero. Oh wait, no, I just have my XP drops off. Let's see how we do. I'm already max hitting. Dude, the shadow is disgusting. The shadow is disgusting. That was crazy. It's already down to 339. I don't think I've ever gotten it down to that HP that quickly before. Should probably anti-venom. Like I said, I haven't killed Zolra in years, so the rotations might be a bit shaky to me, but I think just off the top of my head, I should be able to kill it, no problem. Already down to 196, over halfway. Still on the melee phase. Should be able to dodge it running over here. My, art, my Iron Man days of killing Zolra are coming in clutch here. Okay, I lied. Will that actually ruin it for us? Switch to the Tebow. He's actually almost dead. Wait, he's dead. 45? One more hit. Was that 109 already? That was so fast. Zolra is so easy with this gear. I actually was two seconds off! Uh my cockiness of eating and getting hit by the melee actually cost me. But I got a bunch of uh, <laughs> collection log slower scales. Oh, Lord. I completed a task, though. Okay, let's do that one again. We should be able to get it no problem second try. I guarantee it. All right. This time, easy PB. Guaranteed. Sorry, Zora. Going down. Good luck. 
and we have zeros. There we go. There's the hits. Under 380, under 390. Okay. That first kill really hyped me up. I thought that the shadow would be hitting like that every time. I mean, it's still hitting pretty well. I can't complain. This is a good start. Switch to the mage phase. Tebow is cooking. Oh, very good hits. Very good hits. We could be in the money here. I guess I could even kill it on this phase if the hits are fast enough. That's the crazy thing. Or if the hits are good enough, I should say. Oh, he actually could have died there. One more hit. Where is he? Oh, I'm an idiot. That could be it. He's dead. That is probably the PB. I feel like that definitely is. It is 104 and the Zalandra teleports on the collection log. There we go. 104. Although this sub one minute, it would be so easy. I'm not really up to date on Zolra PBs and, and uh, world record times, but that would be so easy with this gear. Challenge completed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of March Madness. A big shout out to Soup for filling in for me today. Don't forget, guys, Gillenor Games 4 comes out this May. And seriously, I can't make this up. Soup said if you guys don't subscribe, I'm not going to be invited. As a reminder, guys, all of the information about the drop party is in the Discord Link to the Discord is in the description. There's already 8,700 people in there. And of course, if you want to make a donation to March Madness, I am going to be live four hours after this video goes up at 10 a.m. AEDT over on kick.com forward slash EVscape. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Take it easy. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life for squinting, can't just stare. We're bait through thick and thin, she already fixed, so I'm halfway there. <laughs>